And questions arise after the death of Carol Jackson. Yeah, Monday floodwaters swept Jackson away as she drove her car over a slab bridge in Franklin County. News 8's Julian Grace joins us in studio with what's being done about that type of bridge. You know, Mike, I could tell you those bridges are all over the state of Indiana. In fact, in Franklin County, some of those bridges have been replaced. Now, slab bridges are small. The bridges consist of just a small slab of concrete and very little room for error, according to many people. That is why some people tonight are pushing for changes. It's a drive many make each day. Through the water and over a slab of concrete. But on Monday, it didn't work out that way when floodwaters swept Carol Jackson away. She just exuded Christ's love for people. A family and church grieve after the pastor's wife's body was found downstream. She just was so filled with love and gave so much to so many people. But tonight, we turn our attention past this warning sign and back to this slab of concrete. See, the reinforced bridges are found throughout Franklin County. The bridges are small low, which leaves water opportunities to flow right over. Senator, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate you. But tonight over the uh, phone, we, thank you. we talked to Indiana State Senator Jean Lysing, who represents that area. And she made it clear the bridges need work. You know, it's a, it's a statewide problem uh, for county roads and county bridges. I mean, I think that whatever I can do to make sure that the uh, crossing grant program where the state and the county share in funds to improve roads. Um, I'll, I'll be working on that. Uh Indeed. Here's some more information about the crossing grant program. It allows cities, towns, and counties to suggest which roads need resurfacing, bridge rehabilitation, or even road construction. Come